So today, while I was getting animation ready in Lumion, um, I kind of thought to myself, you know, what is the best um, star level with, along with resolution to kind of render out in Lumion? Because I'd never actually tested this before. You know, I had kind of gone over what the different star levels do in Lumion, um, and then also just kind of played around with the resolution for, but I never actually tested um, the, the overall quality um, in doing this. So uh, just to see if having a higher resolution can give you a higher quality image. Um, I did one animation uh, with three stars at 4K, uh, one animation at four stars in 1440p, and then I did um, another one at five stars, um, 1080p. All those were at 60 FPS, but then in the spirit of um, testing things, I decided to do a uh, five star 4K animation. However, this time I'll only be doing 30 uh, frames per second. So I really want to see, you know, what the best overall option is. Um, so hopefully you guys will stick around to the end of the video and we can find out what one is, in my opinion, the best to do uh, in a reasonable amount of time. Enjoy the video. Right, so I'm just gonna go through kind of video by video and just give a quick sort of overview on my thoughts about it. Um, I was thinking about actually putting them up for comparisons, but I feel like these change, like the details are actually very minor. Um, and it to see the full thing, I think you do need it at full screen. I do really recommend that you go and download the videos that I put up uh, on the Google Drive because that'll let you um, just get a better idea of like, like you can see it on your screen, you can see the differences and you can kind of look at the things I'm pointing out. Um, because, uh, uh something I was actually kind of disappointed with is I really thought that three, uh, three stars, 4k would come out looking better than it is. I guess it is only the uh, three stars, but I figured that since, um, Lumion does like the 64, um, samples, uh, when it's doing 4k, I thought that it would at least come out a little bit sharper. Um, but if we actually play this one out, and like I said, this is uh, three stars, 4K, 60 FPS. So, you know, this, like the foreground here, this stuff doesn't look too bad, but the area that I found really did not look good here. And hopefully this shows up, but and can I zoom in on this? No, it won't let me, won't let me zoom in, unfortunately. But basically if I play right here, you can see these like weird kind of almost like escalator lines going down here. Um, and this is not really noticeable at any other resolution and uh, star quality. Um, well, maybe at three stars, like 1080p, that kind of thing. But the uh, I was kind of surprised by that. You, you definitely can see the shadows there. So um, I think that that is one of the biggest differences in the stars is that it really cleans up the edges of the shadows. Um, because this only does like... Um, uh, it only does it like four times, like basically checking the boundaries and like cleaning up those like jittering edges like that. Whereas five stars says it's 16 times, I think. Um, so yeah, this, in my opinion, it's not worth using. Um, don't do, don't do three stars at 4k. I, I can't really think of a time that that would make any sense. Um, you know, if you are ever doing a 3k animation, you should do it at like 1080p. And it's kind of like a, that to me is almost like a draft level, um, quality. It's just that you're going to see like how everything's going to look, but it's not as polished. Um, it To me, I think you're just wasting your time if you do 4K with this. Um, so yeah, I d definitely don't recommend doing that. Um, yeah, so we'll go to the next one here. Um, so this is the uh, four star uh, 1440. Um, and this one is quite a bit better than the last one at least. And this may look a little bit weird because I do have a 4K monitor. Um, so hopefully that doesn't kind of like, that doesn't lower the quality too, too much. Maybe I will actually just make this a little bit smaller just so that it's a little bit more fair, I guess, to actually, it's like viewing it in its actual resolution. So let's, uh, let's hit play. And then right off the bat, you can still see those like kind of jittering shadows, but it's much better. Um, the other thing that you kind of notice on the other one is like this tree here had really weird shadows. And if we go right here, you still get kind of like flickering there and there is a little bit, um, but it's not horrible. I do think it's worth mentioning too, that I think um, even though this is a really cool like cloud effect, I think this actually does create some uh, issues with the shadows because it is trying to calculate that. So I would keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this one is like to me, four star 1440, you know, it's not bad. Like I think it's, it's pretty good. Like it's definitely what I would consider like a final quality, um, 
or sorry, a final version quality. So I don't really think you have a problem with this. Um, but that took 38 minutes, whereas the 4K one took 41 minutes. Um, so yeah, this actually takes less time and I think it looks better. Um, the last of the examples I wanna show you at 60 FPS is the 1080p. So again, this might look, you know, like hopefully you guys can kind of see the differences here on the screen. Please download the the uh, the videos if you can't really tell because you will um, be able to see a little bit better what I'm talking about. So right off the bat though, oh, that's not the one we wanted actually. That's uh, five star, um, <clears throat> that's five star 4K, which I'm gonna get into in a second. I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller because that's the, the appropriate resolution. Um, so if I play this, so it's looking pretty smooth already. Um, the jittering in the shadows is all but gone. Um, and you're not getting, you're not really getting any weird shadows on the tree. So that almost entirely cleaned it up. Um, I think that this also took 32 minutes. Like if you had to do a production level, um, final, it is worth it to do five stars at, uh, 1080p, even if you have a 4k monitor, um, unless you can afford to do 4k at 60 FPS and five stars. I would probably say that 4K is not even worth it. Like it, to me, it's like, even though you have a higher resolution, it, like you're to make it kind of fit in a reasonable rendering time, you're going to have to decrease the star value, which it seems to me like the star value is more important than the resolution um, for the most part. So that is something to keep in mind. And I actually, as I said, I actually took this a step further and I um, did, uh, oh, not this one. I did a, um, I did this same animation, but with, 30 FPS. Um, so this is five stars and it's at 4k, but, um, yeah, I, it, it looks to me, it's really choppy. It's not pleasant to look at. Um, in my opinion, Lumion just does not look as good in an animation. If it doesn't have 60 frames a second, uh, I can always tell when I look at an animation, if it has 30 frames or not, um, it just looks, you know, kind of like jittery. And I don't think that's necessarily a Lumion problem. I think that's just like an Archviz render in general, because people are like, you know, 30 FPS is like enough to kind of get it to work. It'll look good, but I just find it does not look as clear. Like I'll, I'll try and get, um, you know, if you're doing something like blender, Corona, that kind of thing. Like, yeah, you know, you probably have to do 30 just because it's going to be too long of a render time anyways. But if you're doing Lumion, like I really think that you should do 60 FPS. Um, in my opinion, so kind of going through this. So if I had to basically allocate time to me, the number one important thing is that I'm getting the 60 FPS that like that to me is like the number one thing. Like I'm going to base everything on the fact that I want 60 FPS um, because that to me seems like it's the biggest jump, like going from 30 to 60, um, of what, between like the resolution, the frame rate and the star quality. Um, those that that's the one I find makes the biggest difference. Um, the next one that obviously is huge for quality is the actual star quality. Um, try and do five stars or at least four, if you can, like, you know, I've made a couple of videos about how you can lower your render time. So I think if your render times are too long, you actually shouldn't mess with the stars too much. Like I know that that's kind of an easy way of looking at it, but I do think you should try and fix your scene, whether it's like, you know, making it so some of the 3D grass disappears. Like um, if you have, if you have, let's say five reflection planes in your scene and you only have one reflection plane in each of these clips, so you have five clips, one reflection plane in each, but you just copy and paste all of the reflection planes in so that each, like all five are in every single clip that just will murder your render time. So it's that kind of stuff that like to get it down, like you want to, um, like, I feel like you don't want to mess with the stars. Like I feel like you always want four or five stars for a final quality and you should look at your effects first before you start chopping the resolution and also the, um, yeah, the star quality. But I will say that of the three that I mentioned, resolution is probably the one that I don't think matters as much. Like unless you're, you know, you're doing like some big, like almost like a presentation and it's on like a 4k monitor or something like just don't even do 4k it's not worth it i would even argue that 1440p isn't worth it like the 1080 one in my opinion looks way better um and yeah it's, it's just not worth the render times in my opinion like um so for this one if i had to do this um this was also the fastest way to do it by the way it was the fastest render time five stars 60 fps 1080p um that looked pretty good even on my 4k monitor um the, the the shadow issues were minimal 
Um, and it was also the fastest render time. So I think that if you're kind of, you know, jacking up the resolution to like 1440p or 4k, just because you think that it will give you a better render, um, chances are you're only increasing your render times and you're not actually really improving the final version because like, if you don't have a 4k monitor, there is absolutely no point in you rendering 4k. It won't do anything. Like all it's going to do is make the file much bigger. Um, and it's also just going to take you maybe like three times as long to render. Um, so yeah, that was... Um, I know that it's kind of, this is kind of like a weird little video. I'm just kind of like rambling a little bit, but this is actually pretty important because um, it, it just kind of shows like, you, you know, wh what is the thing that you should kind of cut first? And if you need render times cut down, I almost guarantee you that like reflection planes, 3D grass and um, skylight, those three things alone, as I made a video about, can probably cut your render time by over 80%. Like it's a huge jump down when you like kind of get those three reined in um and then yeah so after that then i would say like okay if you need to get your render times down you know lower the resolution because it's you know that's not as important um and then you know if you need to go down even further then maybe you could take it to four stars but i would always try and structure it in a way that you get 60 fps because it, it just looks so much more clean. It's so much more clear. Everything's very fluid. Um, that's just my opinion, at least. I know that some people have said they always do 30 FPS, but I do really like to use 60. So yeah, hopefully this video was um, helpful to some people. Uh, it's a pretty boring one, but hopefully, you know, people kind of watch to the end and they learn something. Um, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, um, I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, hit that subscribe button, maybe ring the bell, help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, I do plan on releasing quite a few more videos this week, and it'd be great if you could uh, join us for those. Uh, if you are subscribed, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, always checking out the videos uh, and just being able to meet some of you um, just because people are commenting their opinions or their thoughts uh, in the uh, comment section below the video. Um, so yeah, thanks again for that. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great night.